Hi everybody in Arkadelphia, the Bisons come on the road. The 10th ranked Bisons win tonight over the 20th ranked Henderson State Reddies. Coach, what a day for the Bisons. Started very early this afternoon. You always talk about adversity and uh, you, you had it before you ever got here to the stadium. We did, we kind of had a crazy day. We got about to McCray and uh, pulled over and something was smoking and we actually had flames coming out of the front tower of one of the buses. And, but you know, we talk to our team all the time about a, a Navy SEAL term, the boys, they, they say full benefit. Pouring down rain, full benefit. Freezing, freezing cold, full benefit, you know. So, you know, we love to say the more chaotic it is, the better it is for us, full benefit. So we, we, uh, uh, we had a caravan of Bison fans show up and scoop guys up and uh, we all got here. Hey, you're down nine nothing late there in the first half and in, in what was a, really a defensive struggle. Six play, 74 yard drive to answer Braden Jay on a 37 yard touchdown run. Made it nine seven going into the half and that had to be a big shot in the arm going into halftime. Well, it was, you know, but my message in the pregame is I said, man, I really do believe that we got a better football team than they do. Now we may have to face some adversity. We, we may have to, uh, to go 12 full rounds, but I believe we're a better team. We just got to have composure and belief um, but now I didn't want to be down, but basically what we talked about uh, really bore itself out. They, we had some early adversity, gave the football away, and they capitalized on it, and uh, yeah, down nine, nothing. I, I thought our guys did a great job of just not flinching, playing the next play, and, and, and at halftime it was all about, and you know, you got to have belief, you got to multiply belief, and uh, just really proud of that response. Coach, hot and muggy night. Your football game, uh, your football team gets the football to begin the third quarter. You put back-to-back -back drives of 65 and 70 yards together after Henderson State had come back and took the lead, that 70-yard drive. That was two statement drives, I thought, to start the second half. Well, there's no doubt about it. I mean, the, the truth is, is basically uh, our offense wore them down. I mean, we had the football for 40 minutes tonight. Um, their defense was forced to play the entire second half just about. and. Uh, man, lots of guts, lots of courage, lots of toughness displayed by our guys, and um, I, I'm proud of them. I'm really, really proud of the response. And you know, we we needed that. We needed to be in a dog fight, and and I, I'm I'm very confident that's going to be really good for us down the road. Physical football game tonight. 31 carries, Blake Dela Cruz, 179 yards, unofficially three touchdowns. Big night for him. I tell you what, we we talked in the the, the pregame really all week long about how we kind of felt like. You know, last year we gave that game away, but we also felt like, you know, we were not as physical as we should have been last year on offense. And we really challenged our guys, uh, you know, talked a lot about getting behind your pads, finishing the run off, and just, you know, we, we got to win the hitting battle. And I, I really do feel like uh, we won the hitting contest. You know, you know, for our B-backs, when they carry the ball, I mean, every, every carry is like a train wreck. And to do it 31 times and as violent as he, as he did, Man, really a statement game for Blake De La Cruz. Fantastic. And on the other side of the ball, your defense, two sacks tonight there in the second half that were both at critical times on third down. Yeah, our defense got really put in some tough spots. You know, uh, we, uh, we gave the ball away early, went for the fake, and didn't get it. That was my fault. Um, but the penalties just kept, kept backing us up. Um, but, you know, to keep, you know, their quarterback is a dynamite player and, and they're really talented receiver. And so to hold those guys, you know, two of 11 on third down is, is a huge, huge stat. Um, defensive coaches did a great job all week and uh, just really, really proud of that. Going back to First Security Stadium next week, crowds have been great and uh, look for a big one next week. Yeah, crowds have been great. Uh, we just got to keep on, keep on getting better. Um, hopefully everybody will show up regardless of who we're playing. Just come out and get behind these guys. I promise you they're worth pulling for and uh, we just got to keep on building. All right, Paul Simmons, congratulations on being 4-0, and and we'll see you next week at home. Thanks, Billy. Go Bisons. Bisons win it tonight on the road tonight, 27-16. 10th-ranked Bisons are 4-0. and We'll see you next week at First Security Stadium with the Bisons in Arkadelphia. I'm Billy Morgan.